How you doing, Duff here? At another different location. I'm actually at the grounds of a uh, Catholic church. The reason I'm here is timing a race here in a couple weeks. I'm just getting some familiarity with the uh, race course. Kind of riding around just to see where stuff is. So, this is also my first extended test of my new leg pads and grip tape in the pedals. So, see how that feels. I'm wearing my uh, my GPS that I normally wear to run. Um, actually, Randall suggested that it'd be an easy way for me to find out how fast I'm going, as opposed to trying to futz with my phone while I'm on the wheel. So. It's a good suggestion, have it all set up. And right now it says I'm doing 8.2 miles an hour. Technically this is a one-way street, so I probably shouldn't be going up against it, but it's certainly uh, wide enough to accommodate a vehicle and me, so I'm pushing my luck. And there's a whole bunch of cars coming in. off road in practice here. Alright, so I'm getting off this section. Nice quiet sidewalk, much better. Eleven miles an hour. Eleven point two. End of sidewalk. Something like 10.30 or so, so I guess maybe church church services are starting soon, so this probably is not an ideal time to be here. This, this is uh, about 12 miles an hour, right here. There's a guy that's on a uh, electric unicycle group that I'm on Facebook. I posted yesterday that he crashed. He was doing a top speed test on his uh, Gotway ACM 16, and I guess he disabled all the alarms and all the tilt back. And um, he was going about 27 miles an hour, and the uh, the bot shut down on him at 27 miles an hour, and uh, he uh, wiped out pretty bad, wrecked his phone, damaged the uh, unicycle. Damaged himself a little bit, not too bad. Yeah, let's go this way. So yeah, I got kind of beat up crashing at like 13. I can only imagine what it felt crashing at 27. So I have no need to go 27 miles an hour just for reference. Nine bot looks so much better without all that green tape on it. All right, so I kind of saw what I needed to see at the church. I'm out on um, Collier Boulevard now. I'm just going to cruise uh, north until I maybe run into a Mockley. I'm not sure. My plan originally was going to be to stop and get coffee at Dunkin' Donuts first but um, the line was just ridiculous and I assume again it was kind of a church related thing so um, I'm gonna just get my coffee afterwards even though I am kind of hungry I woke up early this morning before I had an alarm set for 6 a.m. to go run and I woke up probably about 5 a.m. without an alarm so I just said screw it and got up early and went and ran probably got there about 10 after 6 so it was nice to get it out of the way and the the um, goal when you get that when you get out there that early in Florida is to avoid the heat of the day. But even though it was, you know, a little after six, it was still 79 degrees. And when I checked the humidity later, it was like 95% humidity. So my I ran four miles and my shirt was just totally soaked, so hot and sweaty. But not much you can do about it. It's part of living in Florida hill or 
Vanderbilt Country Club. I just accelerated a little bit down the other side of that hill just to see what the GPS would say and it showed um, 13.7 before it started to uh, beep and tilt back at me. Or beep at me and tilt back. With the grip tape pedals my feet definitely feel very locked into the bot. I haven't really noticed much wobbling. Although the grip tape hasn't magically solved the, uh, the pain I get in my right foot pretty early on. Pain in my arch. Just have to kind of grin and bear it. This is another large uh, new development going in. On the way back I might turn in there just to take a look. New home starting from the 300s. A little more affordable than the quarry at least. Alright, you saw right there, touch 14. This GPS is an older GPS, so um, when you're near trees, the signal isn't very good, so I have to be out in the open if I want to get a more accurate reading. So yeah, touch 14-1, according to the GPS. This is an unfortunate place for someone to decide to stop. Feel some tilting going on. Subtle. I'm almost to uh, Mockley Road, so I'll be turning around. If I step off and shake out my right foot, though, it's hurting pretty bad. All right, got three miles so far. And uh, 128 total miles on the bot. And we're rolling again on the way back. Got a little, when I uh, turned on the 9bot app to connect to the, the wheel, I got a little message saying that I crossed 200 kilometers of total distance. So, that's good I guess, right? That vehicle has no, uh, no occupants by the way. I guess they just felt like parking there, who knows. So Marty said one of the things he's been practicing is um, riding with his hands in his pockets. Oh no, behind his back actually. Um, so I'm putting my left hand in my pocket. Can't really shoot myself with both hands in the pocket, but I will, I will put the camera away and try it just to see how it feels. I'll put my hands behind my back, uh, Morpheus style. I just rode a few hundred yards that way, didn't feel bad. Hands behind the back. I can definitely do it. All right, I'm going back to this development that I uh, mentioned on the way out. Just to take a quick peek. Well, there's, there's models open, but I don't think much more is. This looks very, very new. In the beginning stages. The uh, 9 by definitely does not like being set against a curb like this. A curb like this. It, uh, it starts to shake and wobble like crazy. Listen to that. It's very weird. I'm just, both my feet were burning. Both my feet were burning pretty bad, so I'm just uh, taking a two minute break and just riding back to the, uh, to the, uh, the car from here. Cruising back on the sidewalk. Back to the path. Hi, hey buddy. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. Yeah, good boy. Yet another new development. Skinny point. 
actually wanted to make the last left I just passed, but I was passing a pedestrian and uh, was distracted and missed it, so I will be going the way I didn't want to go. services going on right now. Here's some trivia. Did you know my first wife? I uh, went to Catholic school. So not saying anything good or bad, just a uh, matter of fact. People are even parked over in this side lot. Must be quite the large congregation. Okay, there you go, right around the church. Grip tape feels good. Um, knee pads look good. I guess that's it. Until next time. Stuff me now. Just check the app, total ride 6.4 miles. Just in case you wondered. <laughs>